can't play a broken piano? Heck, Flux can't play a working piano. I heard that. Hello, frogs. Hello, friends. So, are you guys positive that Ray was kidnapped? Not a doubt in my mind, friend. Oh, you don't know Ray. His whole life was singing and baking. He'd never just leave the act, no. Nope. Nefarious just has him for sure. Take a look, guys. What do you think? Is it... A roll? Yes! Ah, oh, very good first effort, you know. Hmm. Definitely very close. It's no Ray Baker special, though. Mm -mm, no. Yeah, but don't feel bad. After all, nobody could bake like Ray. Well, see you later. Good luck, fellows. Yeah. After you, shut up! Yes, oh yes, the fugitives are around here somewhere. I can smell them. Uh, I think that might have been me. Perhaps the fugitives are at the costume shop, procuring garments with which to disguise themselves. Move it! Something tells me those three unpleasant henchmen-like voices belong to Nefarious's three unpleasant henchmen. What are we gonna do? Think! Think, Flux, think. Move it! They can't have gotten far! Phew, that was a little too close for comfort. No kidding! Talk about small dressing rooms! It was kind of dicey when the henchmen came in, too. Sigh. Like a high, Ms. Fit. Like, welcome back! Do we like snag one of your Rentorama vouchers? Oh, sorry. No can do! Voucher, like, denied! Ugh. I know you have rules and everything, but are you sure you can't honor the voucher without King Hugh's crest? I mean, it really make things a lot easier for us. I wish I could, but it's just not official without that official thingy stamped on it. Sorry. Are you still reading that book of insoluble puzzles? For sure. The only time I put down a book is to, like, pick up another. Well, it's been cool. Totally. Later. Would you like to trade books? Mating habits of the malevolated forest squirrel? Oh my god! No way. Way. What a totally cool book. Thank you so much. I don't need to read this. My life's complicated enough already. Enigma, a book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. Fluffy. Oh, boy! My special friends are back! Drew, if I ever get like that, shoot me. The fire sure made a mess of the farm. Someday I'll get him to see the error of his ways. <laughs> Hello, 
So you're a fan of King Hugh? Oh, golly, yes. He's so cute and sweet and wonderful, just like me. <laughs> You certainly aren't lacking in self-esteem, are you, Fluffy? I'm not lacking in anything. I'm perfect. <laughs> Come on, Fluffy. I'm sure you have more important things to worry about than cotton candy. Yes, I suppose you're right. For instance, I don't have any popcorn! My life is ruined! Guess we'll be on our way. Okie dokie. Bye bye. Fluffy, we have a special surprise for you. It's popcorn, isn't it? Right? Isn't it? Huh? So what are you waiting for? Give me my popcorn! Uh, sure. Here you go. Guys. Look, our friends are back. Hip hip! Hooray! Okay, so besides having the name Hugh and being your king, is there anything else you can tell me about your boss? Nope, not a single thing. Oh. But don't be blue. We have something specially prepared just for you. Two, three, four. We'd like to help you. Really like to help you. Like to help you. Really, but we can't. It's just our way of saying we'd really like to help you, but we can't. You know, Flux and I are still a little down in the dumps. We are? Could you fellas possibly... Say no more! No more! Two, three, four! Bippity bip bip bippity pa! Bip boop bip boop bippity pa! Ya da da da! Diddly da! Ya da diddly diddly da! Skiddly diddly dippity do! Well, we gotta be going! Stop, Stop right, right there. there! We can't let you leave without a smile! <laughs> <laughs> Exactly! Hi, bric a brac Who is this bric a brac The name sounds familiar, but for the life of me, I can't seem to place the face. He's you. Who's who? You are bric a brac Yes, of course I'm bric a brac Uh-oh. Did you two sillies forget who I was? Grown heavy sigh. So, bric a brac is there anything else you can tell us about our mission? Ooh, I almost forgot. I don't mean to frighten you, but there is a remote possibility that Nefarious might find your participation in this project just a tad irritating. Ho oh, ho That's like calling Cyanide unpalatable! Well, maybe so. But since he rarely leaves his castle, he's not likely to be a problem. But King Hugh did ask me to warn you about... These three, Feedback, Goggles, and Lugnut. Oh, Nefarious is henchman. Bad news. Exactly. We'll do our best to avoid them. Have you ever heard the term amnesiac used in reference to you? Yes, I believe I have. But I'm afraid I don't recall the meaning of the word. Now, what was the question again? So, has King Hugh been asking about us? King who? Hugh. 
Your boss! Oh, you mean King Hugh! <laughs> He's my boss, you know. He's been asking how you two are doing with the cutifier. Uh-huh. And what did you tell him? Tell who? Tell Hugh. About us working on the cutifier. Oh, no, I don't need to tell him that. <laughs> he already knows. Yes, but... Oh, never mind. How's the cutifier going? Oh, no, no, no. I'm afraid it's not going anywhere until it's finished. That's what I mean. Is it close? Close? Why, it's right here. Uh, that, that's great. Can we take a look at it? Certainly. Brick -brack. Ah, my tippy-top secret helpers are back. Does he have to call us that? Hey, we had a run-in with Nefarious's cronies. And they may be swift, but they ain't all that swift, if you catch my drift. Oh, well, <laughs> that's nice. Say, have you seen my glasses? In fact, why don't you give them a call? They may be looking for a goon number four. Bye, Brick -brack. Flux and I are gonna go look for parts for the cutifier. You just keep doing whatever it is you do. Okay! Ready, Flux? We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Let's find out what top secret royal goodies are locked away in this cupboard. It's a top secret royal stuffed kitty cat. Hurrah! A royal stuffed kitty cat torn at the bottom. Whoops! Look at that! That toy cat just fell off the shelf and landed in my pocket. Stealing from his royal smiliness is truly despicable, Drew! Do it again! A beat-up stuffed cat. Excuse me, ma'am. I believe you dropped this. Oh, never mind. Nothing's on. Look, it's a Miles cartoon. A 
dump. Half a tree is better than none. Nefarious's castle. I wouldn't want to live there. Hey, I bet it's not even a nice place to visit. Nefarious's castle. I would... Hey, I... those strong, silent types, huh? Hey, I admire a guy who... Who you calling a guy? <coughs> Certainly not you, ma'am. So, uh, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Quit the two-bit pattern, mister. I ain't got the stomach for it. Really? Yeah, really. Say, what's your boyfriend getting at? Nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. We were just wondering what you were doing, standing here. Where everyone can see you. I'm here to make sure no two-bit saps try slipping into CDs without the proper attire. Great. Well, since that obviously doesn't apply to us, I'm sure you won't mind if we just head on inside. What did I just say? Um, I, I believe it was a gaseous emission more than an actual statement. Wise guy, huh? Well, Crack and Foxy won't get you birds anywhere with me. I said no one gets into cities without the proper attire. Now beat it! Please, Madame Bouncer. My friend and I would be most grateful if you let us into the club. You girls must have took a wrong turn somewhere. This ain't Sapsville, and I ain't your mama. If you two ain't got the proper attire, then you're taking the long road to nowhere. Krill, talking to this throwback isn't getting us anywhere. You're right, Flux. We aren't getting through to her. It's like we're speaking different languages. Wait a minute. That's it. Flux, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. Unless you're thinking about how fun it is to slap yourself on the butt and yodel, Whoa, Nelly! I'm thinking we need to change our approach. We need to start speaking her language. Her language? Oh, no. Don't even think about it. So, from now on, kid, throw your yap in overdrive. Make like a tough guy. Punctuate your sentences with C. See? This is the most ridiculous plan I ever heard. See? Ah, looks like something the cat yacked up. Hope it was a big cat. Otherwise, it probably died yacking. Hello, sweaty eyes. What do you want, you lousy two-bit parasite? Step aside, sweetheart. We want into that club, see? Gee, that's too bad. The sign says proper attire required. Something wrong with your blinkers? They're not in our armpits, if that's what you mean. Keep asking for it and you'll get it. Plenty. Don't get excited, lady. Just tip us off to the proper attire and we'll see what we can do. What do we need? A tie? A fez? Tux. A gorilla suit! All right, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Girl! You don't scare us very much at all. Yeah, so why don't we all just step outside? We are outside. Well, that was unpleasant. <laughs> 